government is looking for you. <laughs> okay, so um, today we're gonna do an interesting app. All right, so this will be either government or military facility kind of app. All right, damn, yeah, we can do the kind of apps, but no, no CIA stuff. Anyways, all right, so um, as usual, go to diyapps.ca and you'll find our website uh browse if you like but if you're just here for the app uh hit on the get started and then so today we're gonna do military facilities all right so believe it or not i think uh there are some private maybe military facilities for training and things like that uh, cadet training um and things like that um so the reason why one we want like to build an app for this will be uh to keep everyone informed all right uh to able to show people where the locations are because usually those are big fields man they have a lot of properties and facilities um you can also um be able to help people to report incidents uh, people can be able to um understand what's going on and encourage each other through feedback and things like that through the app and just keep people updated right and information that's just flow of information flow of information and receiving information that helps the overall efficiency of the facilities or the camp all right cool all right so we're gonna pick up uh let's see yeah that's a basic one let's pick this one i like i like the tiles man this this looks nice this layout nice all right so uh keep the base informed right so you have all those uh things that you can put have a questionnaire you have videos people can be able to train on um, you can be able to uh, show them in a map where the bases are you can encourage your community things like that um the other piece uh will be um once you are ready and good to go and you like this template uh, you can also build one from scratch if you have someone to be able to do that for you uh, or wink wink use us <laughs> but anyways we'll, we'll still use the template man we'll start from the template why, why build why build another wheel while there's another wheel kind of thing all right <laughs> all right so you give it a name uh, select your industry give the first name your name uh, put an email put a password agree to the terms and pro privacy and then you are off to the races so this is what you're gonna see this is the first thing you'll see this is the uh the dashboard the mobile app uh, platform dashboard so your app as you can see to be on your right um, and then you have some information about the the platform itself uh, some of the updates on the platform uh, tutorials um, and how to get started so all that will be there and then we have the platform menu so this is how you're going to move in between uh, developing your app um, we have the learn more piece um, so this is our knowledge base you'll be able to get learn more uh, whatever is not on the on the dashboard it will be here and you can be able to click on these uh, items and learn more uh, about uh, different um, items uh, for the app all right so another piece uh, will be the upgrade so when you're ready before you upgrade though uh, do you have the preview mobile so for the preview uh, what you want to do is you can skew qr code uh, you can scan this so it gives you a link that link you can send it to whoever wants or you can be able to text them just get your phone number text them the link and they can be able to open the app and keep track on what's going on so when you are happy the client is happy everyone is happy and they're ready to publish it uh, you hit the upgrade button this uh you have you select a um, bunch of our plans uh, we have four but the three ones are uh, the, the widely used so once you hit that and you upgrade and you get a uh, one of the plans uh the pub the publish button will show up and then it will take you step by step uh, on how to publish your app to apple or android all right so the next piece uh will be oh and we have a 21 days free trial so once you develop your app and you are okay 
if you take 21 days you are good if you don't take you still you need to pay so that you can be able to keep the platform um and then you can upgrade um user discount code diy apps uh 100 um to get 100 dollars off for the first six months cool awesome all right so once you have done that uh we have uh the language section here so depending on uh, your nationality or your language uh whatever language you feel comfortable in apart from english you can be able to set the the platform language change it uh to whatever, whatever language that you are uh to your liking and then this only changes the platform language it doesn't change the app language okay so the app will still english uh, when you publish it, it will be english uh, the only way you can go to about that is have um, different screens having different languages and people can uh, move in between uh, those platforms um, all right so first things first uh, we'll go to the home screen so on the home screen um, as you can see, editing is way super easy. Uh, so the home screen, uh, let's say welcome. And it will show up here, you see. So welcome is up here. Um, so we just take it out. Um, and then we have your image. So you just do your layout here. So interestingly, uh, this one we, we had, you, we didn't use the insert layout. So what we did was we used these action tabs. So this action, pick you pick, whichever feature that you like and then you attach it to it and it connects um, to be able to uh, get people to move around the app. All right, so the menus on the plugins or features, um, they are all the same. Um, so content, design, layout, security, tagging, patches and analytics. Uh, those are the standard ones. All features will have it. Uh, if, a, uh, if a feature is more advanced, it will have more um, tabs. Um, so content, we have already gone through the content, uh, the design piece. Um, if you have a background, as you can see, they have a background. Uh, so they change the background with the three fighter jets. Uh, really cool though. I like, I like the way they um, uh, integrated that. And then the layout. Uh, so this is how they, like these uh, buttons will show. As you see, they've used this one or you can change this one. It's super easy, super, super easy. But they use my favorite. I like this one with the, the grayed out background. Um, security wise, um, usually when you have a screens, you have different screens, you need people uh, to have a login. So this is where you can be able to control that. Uh, not only a login, but a specific user, right? And that one you can control with the user tags and just add those tags here. So specific people with specific uh, user tags will be able to access uh, this particular screen. Um, tagging, uh, so these are behavioral tags. So these tags, uh, wh what, what do you do when you add a tag here, you give it a name. Uh, when someone comes to this screen, it, it, it attaches that tag to their profile. So what it does, what you, different ways you can use it. You can use it to, um, when you send out push notification and also when you want to segment your uh, users who are interested in particular screens, you can be able to market to them differently. Uh, purchase if you like in app uh, in app purchases you can use that analytics will be how people uh, use the screen how many people um, opened or your top users and things like that all right so that's the home screen uh, the next piece we're going to the app components so the app components as you can see uh, my features so all these features um, or plugins so we use the term interchangeably um, so all these features will be uh, you find them at the marketplace and from the marketplace uh, de determining which features you have is your plan so the higher the plan the more features you get the more pr premium plugins you get but at the same time the basic uh, standard the standard plan has a lot of features that you can use um, a lot of them there's so much uh, really nice features uh, some of them will be considered premium in other platforms but here is standard, like you can be able to develop cool apps with that particular plan. Um, and then, so once you are, once you pick a, pl uh, pick a plugin, uh, you click on the plus button, and this one will take you to 
my features. So in my features here, um, and then from here you use it in the app. As, we, as I showed you before with the action, with the add action, so that's how you add your uh, plugins or features to the app. And when you publish your app, uh, features that are not being used in the app, they won't be published. Um, only features that are on the app that will be published. And that way helps uh, minimize the um, app, app size. Well, next, um, marketplace, we've done that side menu. Um, so let's say you have um, enough, or like you can see for this example, you only have four buttons on the home screen and you want everything uh, on the side just to make it simple and easy for people. You can able to add more on the side menu um, and that's how you set it up. Add existing features, same functionality as we said about add action. Um, navbar. <coughs> so the navbar, this is the bottom part here. You see where it turned black. So let's do the add item. Uh, let's say you want some questions. Uh, you want some leadership people. You want to see them all the time. And then let's say home. And then you want your home to be in the middle. Right? So that's how you add your... Uh, um, navbar. We turned it off. We don't need it right now. The app looks nice anyways. Um, the other piece I love about this is the intro screen. So intro screens, uh, you can have two to three intro screens minimum at least to uh, get people to understand what the app is all about and what they're going to expect in the app. And that way kind of preps them as they get excited to use the app. So this is a premium, f f uh, premium uh, feature. So you have to upgrade to access this. So right now I'm, I'm running on the basic. Um, I've, no, I'm not even, I'm on the free. Um, so the free period, so that's why it's locked. Um, designs, so depending on, on uh, your logo or your branding, you can be able to make the app look and feel uh, to match your branding. So and this is where you set it up. So uh, you put your icon, uh, you put your app name, so this is the name that goes underneath your icon when someone downloads uh, the app. You can do the loading screen, change the uh, font, uh, change your colors to match um, your branding, and that way the app also matches uh, your branding. And then media library, uh, every images that you use on the app, it all go in here. If you have uh, videos, uh, we don't store videos. Uh, we use third-party platforms like YouTube, Vimeo, um, and Rumble. You can use those links. Just link them with their platform. And and so the, the how you control that, uh, use the link. And then you can use uh, the login screens to secure your content that way. All right. Speaking about login screens. <laughs> All right. So on the login screen, as you can see here, uh, this is the design. As I told you, some of this will have more, some will have less. Uh, we have your settings. Uh, so right now we, we can only have, they only have Apple and Google, but you can always add Facebook. If you want to add Facebook and it will show there, uh, you can add X and X will show there. Um, customize. Uh, the beauty about mobile apps is when, let's say someone signs in and you need to uh, collect more information, you can add more fields on the login page, uh, on the sign up page so that you can be able to get more information and get people um, help you with your marketing. So the more the, the specific content you collect, uh, co the specific information you collect to help you with your marketing, to segment how many people, which kind of people are using the app, that would be cool. And we have that for the custom. And then the language, uh, this is that's the language of the buttons and the, that you have on the login screen. Privacy and terms, uh, you can always upload yours or uh, use the default one that we have. Uh, commas, uh, so this is the in-app purchases that you can set up, set it up here and be able to do even a credit system. Notifications, so this is, uh, I love this, I love notifications. Uh, this is also my other favorite part about an app. You can be able to schedule notifications, you can do group notifications. So you remember where uh, we, have, we had those um, user tags and behavioral tags 
you can be able to target only those people and send them push notification that's really really powerful and that will be able to get you guys going um schedule you can schedule apps for the future um be able to just set them up and just have them set up so when those days come boom 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 they just come out they go out they go out uh geofence geofence gives you um a holistic um idea of not a holistic sorry <laughs> Um, so geofence, you can set, um, you know why I said holistic? Because like I was drawing a circle, so I was like, it's a holistic. But no, when you draw a circle, um, let's say you have a geofence area, uh, you can be able to, whoever has the app and goes into that area, they get a notification. And that way you can be able to uh, market or promote other people, uh, that are you, other people that you're collaborating with, with your platform. Um, analytics. Uh, this will give you analytics on how many people received, how many devices received the app, how many people opened it, and how many people clicked on the action tab, action button, uh, if you had an action button in the push notification. Uh, so that way, it gives you nice detailed information to help you know what works and what doesn't work. Um, users, um, anyone who has a profile uh, with the system, with your platform, this is where you manage them. Um, you can also add user tags. Uh, you can also do admin roles, add more admins or more users to help you with uh, managing the app. Uh, user profile, so it's the languages you can use within, change within the app. Abuse report, uh, if you have a community wall, people are chatting, people are communicating, and people are not uh, are being reported. So what you can do is you can be able to, uh, when someone reports someone, this is where it comes, you review it. You can either ban them or suspend them. Um, but the thing is, you if you delete them, they can be able to sign in back again. So banning and suspending is the uh, better option so that they can't use the same email. Okay, analytics. Um, so this is analytics for the whole app. Uh, so how many downloads you got and also users, pretty much uh, how many total users you have um, that have signed in your platform. Um, so the advanced section, um, app permissions, uh, you know when, when you have your app and um, you download an app, they will ask for permission either for your location, for your contact, for your images. So you can be able to set those up here and so maybe your app needs certain permissions to be able to function well on, on the phones. Uh, you can set that one up there. Um, app publishing information, this is a step-by-step -step to help you publish your app to the Apple and Android um, app marketing. Uh, you can link your app with app uh, Facebook or Google Ads. App share settings. Uh, this will give you links that you can be able to use for your sharing with other people. Um, app language and wording. Uh, you can change some wording within the app. Integration. Same thing. Help you with integration things that you need. Um, uh, my account. So that's pretty much uh, account information um yeah so to wrap it up um hopefully this was a good uh tutorial just a rundown uh, i didn't go too much in um, a lot of the details um just showing you a highlight of the platform and what it can do um always feel free to message us at hello at diyapps.ca for support um and we are here to help so anytime that you need um help just message us right this is cool man i like this i like this this is, this is awesome all right all right see you adios